Hello and welcome back, Tinfoil Hat Sports fans. I am Mr. Jackson, lead announcer at Tinfoil Hat Sports and inventor of the tie on sportswear look. Today we are celebrating more victories. Tinfoil Hat Sports gamblers are now up hundreds of thousands of dollars. That's because right now we're sitting at an amazing 6 0. We've correctly picked every game against the spread. Underdogs, overdogs, you name it, we did it. But here at Tinfoil Hat Gaming, we would like to give a special thanks and a special shout out to Mr. J.R. Smith, who without, we would be losers. That's right, you see, we bet the Warriors to beat the Cavs in a sweep. Now, what is a sweep? A sweep is four games. You see, at the end of game one, J.R. Smith got a rebound with a chance to go ahead, which would have caused both unders betters and Golden State Warriors betters to lose. Luckily for us, J.R. Smith dribbled the ball away, therefore sending the game into overtime and causing the game to hit the overs. Now, as we know, J.R. Smith is an Illuminati mind-controlled player. So, now that we've seen some of the game play out, we're going to be able to make a little bit better predictions. If you are a Tinfoil Hat Sports fan, then currently you have bet the Warriors to win in a sweep. Well, tonight we have a very interesting possibility. Well, actually tomorrow night, because Game 3 will be in Cleveland tomorrow night. Now, if you bet big on the sweep, this is a chance for what we call a hedge. What is a hedge, you say? A hedge is where we're winning, and a bet that we made earlier is better than it was just two games ago. We're two games into the sweep, so now we've got a little bit of value in our tickets that we'd like to unlock. Well, how can we unlock this value, Mr. Jackson? Well, we're going to talk about Cleveland. Cleveland playing a game at home is an amazing plus 180. What does that mean? That means if I bet $100, I will win 180. Now, since we already have bet the sweep on Golden State, this would be a good chance to take a little bit of money off the table because you gotta know when to hold them and you gotta know when to fold them. So, do I think the Warriors are going to win Game 3? Yes, I think the Warriors are going to win Game 3. They're clearly the much better team. And the Cavaliers also, how do you say it? They stink. But the NBA is in a tricky place. Right now, Conspira fans don't know if the NBA wants to push for seven games or if they'll take the bold step of allowing Cleveland to be swept for the third game in a row, third year in a row, which will allow LeBron James to move to another city. See, last year, Cleveland only managed to win two games. So they didn't go the full seven. Now, this year, they'll lose out on a lot of revenue by only having four games. Uh, the NBA Finals and the NBA itself could suffer, but they had a big Memorial Day weekend with two game sevens. So they might just let it happen because it looks like what the NBA is trying to do now is build up a lot of love for one Mr. LeBron James. And why not? Uh, right now, you'd have to make a case for LeBron James being the GOAT. What is the GOAT, you say? That is the greatest of all time. There are people arguing right now. Is LeBron James the GOAT? Well, let's break it down like this. I don't think necessarily that athletes are getting any worse at sports. We can assume athletes are always getting better. And since LeBron James is the best player playing, and every player is getting better, we could say logically that LeBron James is the greatest basketball player ever. Even better than one Michael Jordan, who took off a year because he wanted to play baseball. See, Michael Jordan was rigging games for the Mafia, and the Mafia, while upset about it, uh, didn't play very nice 
And uh, some people think, crazy people, uh, think perhaps Michael Jordan uh, left because of gambling problems. That's right, gambling problems. So, where are we? This is a quick review of where we are going into game three. If you are a tinfoil hat sports gambler, you currently have the sweep. So right now, we're going to make a little recommendation. And I'm going to say that uh, this will give you a chance to get back some of your money. As yet, we have not lost. So whatever your ticket is, I am saying let's, let's make a little hedge here. And uh, we'll sort of get a free bet, if you will. Uh, we're going to bet one quarter. For those of you who don't know, a quarter breaks down into decimal points. It's 0.25. For those of you still having trouble, let's say you bet $100. A quarter of that would be 25. My recommendation is going to be, believe it or not, to bet on Cleveland in game three. I know. I know what you're thinking. Cleveland? They look terrible. There's no shot. And I don't think so either. But... One thing we're beginning to see is a storyline that it's impossible. And we can also see that the games are rigged. J.R. Smith was clearly trying to lose game one. I don't think that will happen in game three. And I believe that the Cavaliers have a chance of winning this game at home. Uh, if you don't have the sweep bet, I'm advising Tinfoil Hat Sports fans to stay away. Maybe play the over. Play some props bet on mighty LeBron James to score a lot of points. Well, we're running a little long. I don't like to get videos over five minutes because no one watches them. So keep an eye out. There'll be a lot of comment coming out today, including some breakdowns of how and what is sports gambling. Well, see you later. Thanks for watching.